next house that we're looking at it came on the market not but uh, around the same time I was making that video um, about how we decided not to get the other house this is the HC Tull house circa 1860 um, Matt is actually thinking that the front section of the house was made well before 1860 just by looking at some of the architectural details isn't it gorgeous? I would want to put a door up there. I don't even know if that's a thing, but wow. <laughs> and it has a basement. Um, which around here is pretty amazing. It's up on a rise, so while the property is um in a flood plain the house is not so we would not need flood insurance look at that oak tree oh my gosh might be about the same age as the house um, and there's a fence here the neighbors are pretty close but you know that's how these things go sometimes there's a little fence and there's a ramp which is nice because Matt's father uses a cane um, and has some mobility issues, so that's good. There's something called a milk house. I have no idea what it actually is, but <laughs> it's got cedar shakes on top, so it's sweet. And then we have <clears throat> this nice sized garage shed thingy bobby. And then there's 1.75 acres with it. I'm not sure which section is which, what goes where, but it does go back to the tree line. I do know that. Here's another big tree. Um, see the sweet little gate over there, the garden gate? Uh, so it looks like this was gardened. Uh, a little more. Oh, that's mint. Somebody had gardened it at one time, and it looks like the Vinca vines have taken over. But there's still vestiges of what used to be here. There's some perennial herbs that I see underneath the Vinca. I'm not sure what those are. Canna lilies? Uh, no, I don't think so. But I'm not sure what those are. So that, if that is part and parcel of it, that would make a fabulous um, pasture for the goats. And here's all these lilies. I like this gate. It's so pretty. Um, there's a very lovely magnolia. That neighbor is significantly farther away. There's more of the sort of privacy fence. It does not have central air. You can see from the window units, which is not a problem for us. We don't typically use air conditioning if we can avoid it. There's some more. There's some ferns out here. Some hostas hiding lilies and what looks to be an old store over there I know across the way there is a apartment building that is for sale so once the realtor gets here I will take you guys in to see the rest of it all right we're standing at the front door and then this is the upstairs. So this is one bedroom with, by the way, three closets. One, a two, and then three. 
door number two to bedroom number two. Looks very nice. It has two closets, but they are pretty sizable. Especially for this being a house supposedly built in 1860s. I think someone must have come from behind and made closets in these rooms. Some shelves there, again. Then this back portion has not been finished off, so there's a step down here. And here is room number one. We would put a closet right here. So there was some water damage, but they've replaced the roof. So it's just a matter of more like cosmetic things. This door goes to doo -doo -doo -doo, a very, very large storage area. And we were wondering if we couldn't put a bathroom up here because there is no bathroom upstairs. Here's another closet. I mean, another room. <laughs> We would put a wall here to make it its own room. And then these are servant stairs that end up in the dining room. Matt refers to it as a hall because it functions more as a hall, like in the old English sense of the word. These are where the chimneys are. And then back in there is storage the whole way through. And then this is yet another room. And it also has closets and it's got ones up there but i'm a midgy i can't reach those so you can see where the roof is going to need to be fixed up probably just mudded and painted this is plaster and lath so it's fixable this is another door to storage so close all these doors And man, they've got some really neat stuff in here. Really neat. That's all butter churn. So that right there that's dead ahead is the front door. There is beautiful room here with the built-in. Very nice. Let's see the tile around the fireplace and then when you I'm gonna shut this door when you walk around this way and the floors are wood painted wood but wood none of this here's another living area they don't know if the fireplaces are functioning or not but it's one way to find out and this is the hall, or the dining room. And that's the bottom of the servant stairs. This is a, I think they're calling this the den. And then on the other side, is the center room. I mean, there's a lot of old carpet in here that needs work. But, and then we have the kitchen. That, that, and then a three quarters bathroom, but the shower is large enough that we could replace out a tub if we wanted to. And then the laundry room. 